the 12th annual Goats Family Festival band meeting. That is quite an amazing feat. Who hasn't been to Goats before and has got little understanding of Goats? Because I'll just go through a very quick, very quick history of it, okay? Goats started in 1999 on the back of a truck with two bands and the idea was to actually showcase young people's talents. Uh, and it's an original but it seems old. From that day forward, there's been an expectation that the Goats Festival will continue in the north of the Shire. It's got a hell of a lot of support from community councillors and local businesses. Um, whilst you're here today, at 2.30 this afternoon, we had another meeting which was what's called the organising committee. On that organising committee, there's about 35 people from, um, from adults to young people. Young people are the biggest um, group of people that put into the organisation of goats. I'm quite excited to see what the swamp stage will be like. Um, last year on the pit stage, uh, there was like a mini mosh pit and that was the first time I've experienced that, so that was awesome. They played at the Chili Lounge and Slam Jam in the process of recording their first EP, Give It Up! I'm actually studying to be a teacher, so public speaking in that sense is going to be a real asset. So uh, if I can gain that, that confidence um, in front of massive crowds, being in a classroom should be second nature to me. It's a little bit about introducing ourselves too. I'm actually Gillian Hogan. They call me the mother goat, so I'm the main organiser. This is Karina. Karina will be on the registration desk, guys. So. When you come to the event, you come and see me first, um, and I'm the one that points you the direction of your stages and your stage <coughs> managers. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll see you all on the day. Going off at the swamp, Sean. Going off at the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> the Goats Festival plays an invaluable role in the, in the music industry. I see, I see the music industry as working in, in a number of tiers, number of tier levels, and, and there's a bottom tier which consists of bands starting out, writing their first songs, learning to play the guitar, performing at people's parties, performing at festivals like goats, and then hopefully on the, on the basis of that, they can graduate to the second tier where they'll start getting paid gigs, paid performances, they might release a CD of their own, record and release a CD of their own. Then once that, they can gather a following from that, then they'll go on to, to, to future tiers which might include record label contracts or overseas tours where they can hopefully be generating an income from their music. Thanks, Sean, I appreciate that. So Ronnie and Ross, you got anything to add?